Good morning, everyone. Trevor Thompson, TNT Pressure Cleaning Dynamite Service with explosive results. We are at a home today, and we're going to be doing a gutter cleaning. And um, the very first thing I'm going to do is get up on the roof, and I'm going to measure the linear feet um, because I have a per linear foot charge that I use, and then in addition to an a hourly charge uh, that I use. Um, and I don't wanna discuss those amounts uh, because it fluctuates, um, and there are many factors uh, that play a role. So for instance, um, accessibility, um, and degree. Uh, so you're going to have downspouts that are going to need to be completely taken apart and snaked. Um, there's going to be a lot of factors that play a role in how these things are priced. So there's not really a set price. It's going to be a matter of um, accessibility, linear foot, hours to complete the job. If it's just dry, crunchy stuff that we can take a blower and blow out, well then, you know, obviously uh, we're not gonna charge an excessive exorbitant amount. Um, if it's a demucking process, I do wanna show you one thing uh, because after I blow out the gutters, I then take a very special tool. It's a very special um, gutter cleaning tool and I wanna show you what that looks like. Now, there are a ton of gutter cleaning tools on the market, but this is by far the most superior. So take a walk in the trailer with me and I'm gonna show you a gutter cleaning tool. This, my friends, a standard pair of barbecue tongs. That's right, guys, barbecue tongs. Now, if you can imagine, these barbecue tongs are, let's just set them right there. That's your hand. So that's what your hand can scoop you get all this. Plus, they run through the tracks with effortless ease. So there are braces and you're going to need to get through those braces. You can push debris, scoop debris. I bring a very heavy gauge plastic bag up with me to demuck and take out all of that debris. And then, um, and then I flush the gutter tracks out. If there's a heavy amount of organic matter, um, moss, lichen, algae, then I'll take a pump up sprayer with an algicide and a fungicide and I'll uh, lightly, gently mist to clean out those tracks. Uh, and the reason I say lightly and gentle is because I don't want so much uh, sodium hypochlorite in there that I'm pushing that out through the downspout and burning their grass. So it's a light mist to kill the organic matter. It's not necessary. I do it because I like the, the tracks to look absolutely impeccable when I'm finished. So let's take a walk up there. Now, the old analog wheel is a great measuring tool. Um, you never have to put a battery in it. And, uh, and it's real, it's real, it's, it's very, very simple. And uh, that will give you your linear feet on your gutter line. Now, obviously you can take uh, the digital wheels. Um, now, when I Google earthed this property, you can't specifically see all the gutters all the way around. So it's uh, virtually impossible to get an accurate measurement. I do use a measuring app on my phone as well, um, but I find the wheel is, is spot on. Um, and, uh, and Google Earth doesn't always show you exactly what you want, nor does property appraisers. They will never show you uh, what your gutter feet are. You're gonna get building area um, and some additions, pool enclosure, things like that. So property appraisers is a great uh, source to get square footage. Um, and Google Earth is a fantastic way to measure. You can measure driveways, the home, all kinds of structures. Uh, so Google Earth, I highly recommend. But the old traditional wheel like this is just a great wheel to use. So I'm gonna climb up on the roof and check out the gutters and uh, we'll uh, shoot another video and you guys can take a look at those gutters. Have a great day, keep cleaning everyone. Trevor Thompson, TNT Pressure Cleaning. Dynamite service with explosive results.